cyber assassin, the guy who had hired me, calls me. And what does he tell me? Uh, Candy, have you already resigned? I'm like, yes. Things have changed. Uh, we can't give you the job. We are not going to hire now. What? I have resigned. Eh? And this is an answered prayer. As in, I know it's an answered prayer. You never truly know people until you take the time out to get to know people. We had to take a break there. Uh, it's not even for Kendi, it's for us. <laughs> this, is, this is for me, Wamai, and Aizo. And I'm sure even you guys were happy about the break. What an incredible story. Uh, what an incredible journey. What an incredible God. Uh, what a... You know, you were at 54,000. Mm -hmm. You had a list of things that you've asked for. Mm -hmm. So far, we've only touched on the first one. Right. The first one didn't end at 120. You said it. it, it the offer was? 360,000. Guy. Candy just continue the story. <laughs> 2008. 2008. As in God paid me six times what I was earning. Yeah. Then, when I went to sign the contract, I looked at the terms and conditions. There was a benefit. And the benefit was a vehicle and car allowance. That is 58,000 shillings. <laughs> uh -huh. And I looked and I'm like, I have a car allowance. I don't even have a car. <laughs> anyway. So I went back to Bennett and I spoke to my boss. He had been a very good boss. Mm, mm. But I spoke to him and I told him, I'm leaving the company. Before that, actually, when I left, the hiring manager told me, we need you to report to work in Tunisia. In? Tunisia. Tunisia. Yes, because... There is a partner event that is going on, and it will, your, it will be your best learning moment. So I need you to report to work on 30th June, so that at least your travel, your tickets can be booked and you can leave that day, at least when you're still when you're under an employee of HP. Mm. Because the event was going to be in July, the first week of July. So working with my leave days and because I needed to live respectfully. Yeah. So working, yes. Say that again. <laughs> I needed to live respectfully. So working with my leave days and notice period, I then spoke to my boss and I told him, oh, and the contracting for HP took longer, took long. But then because I needed to meet the full 30 days notice period, the hiring manager told me, it's okay, it's done. Just go resign mm. so that you work the days, you don't lose days because you can't report later than June because you'll be able to travel if you do. Yep. So uh, the same day I sat with my boss in Penet, I explained to him as I waited for the counter contract to come or for the contract to come for, for me to sign. So the contract, I believe, came the following day but it was processed in the local office. The counter signature was in the local office. Um, so the, the, the HR, the back end HR, I think used to live in, used to live in Romania. So they've sent, they, they needed to send to the local office, the administrator of the local office, who was also the head of finance or the finance manager, and who was also a counter signature. Then she calls me and tells me to, now because I'm in office, I go physically to sign. One copy has and one copy mine. So that process didn't take long. Um, <clears throat> I went back to Vicky again, my friend. Thank you, Vicky. I was like, now it's time for me to... And we would all celebrate. Because remember, this was, this was even for us at the time, because we were young, we were all believing. When my friend saw the contract, because the, it was just my two close friends, when yeah. Vicky and Tab saw 
um, the contract, we were, we were amazed. We were like, which God is this? Mm. But anyway, so I, I went up uh, to sign. I remember waiting. So I went to the reception. Then I remember waiting to see this lady who had been told is in the office and her name is Dolly. So then I go, um, I'm trying to have a conversation. Uh, no, I go, I sign, she signs. No, she, actually, she signs and she comes and hands the document to me without much conversation. And she's like, congratulations, here's a countersigned signature. For some reason, when I was told to go sign, I felt the urgency to go at the time I did. By the time I was getting back to the office, now pin it, because I went over my lunch break, mm. Sir Basasi, the guy who had hired me, calls me. And what does he tell me? Uh, Candy, have you already resigned? I'm like, yes. Things have changed. Uh, we can't give you the job. We are not going to hire now. What? I have resigned. Eh? And this is an answered prayer. As I know, it's an answered prayer. It was, I think it was a Tuesday or something. I was in the prayer ministry. I called my prayer partner. Only one person. No, I called the prayer ministry leader. And I told him, this is what has happened. Geoffrey, if you remember, Otieno, thank you. He, 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 he told me, I've had you, but you're not going to repeat what you've told me to anyone else. We are not giving it life. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is pray. Because God does not contradict himself. Then I tried calling now the office. So I'm trying to call Dolly. I'm in panic. And Dolly's on the other side. She picks up the phone and I'm telling her, I've just gotten a call telling me the job, what, what, what. Do I still have a job or do I not? She's so confused. Well, she's like, but have you not signed the contract? Don't you have a countersigned contract? She's like, yeah. She actually brushed me off because she couldn't understand what it is I'm saying. So that whole narration is what I told um, uh, Geoffrey. And so then, Seba says, then, I, then when Seba, when I got off the call with him, meanwhile we are praying, he called back. Then I told him, but Seb, I've, I've already signed. Mm. I already have a signed contract. So then he called me back. And then I think he called internally and confirmed that it's been countersigned. Mm. He called me back and then he told me, oh, you've signed. Then forget, forget it, forget, forget everything. It's okay. Report when you're supposed to report. Mm, 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 mm. So, me, I was like, Okay. Went, reported to work. The event was moved, so I didn't report to Tunisia. Mm. But I reported to HP. Only to get there and understand that what had happened... I, 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 please don't say what I think you're about to say. They had found a Kenyan who wanted to come back from the US who was working for HP, so who understood the products more. Ah, and yeah. they wanted to give them that job. And that is why they wanted to... Not to now not hire me because my training path would be longer. Yes, but because you had signed. But because I had signed. It would it, ensue a legal battle. Yes. Mungu ni nani? He orders our steps. And so anyway, I thought it was important to say that because warfare is real. Mm. Yes. The... I call it the spirit of delay. Correct. You know the way God sent somebody, I think it was to Daniel, and he's like, mm. oh, I was fighting for you for 21 days, but as yes. it took, it's, it's, it's what you said. Mm. So you are sure God has given you this thing? Yes. Wow. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so I joined HP. Thank you, sir. I joined <sighs> HP. I loved being in HP. My dearest of friends, I met in HP. It was now a very different life. 
Just let's let's let me let's let's take it slow yes. here. Your salo has moved from fifty four thousand yes. to this three hundred and I don't know what. Yes, three hundred and sixty, and then fifty eight thousand on top. <laughs> you haven't told us about the fifty eight thousand. No, it, it's coming. I it's said the car allowance fifty eight oh, thousand. Okay. okay. Financially, mm -hmm. let's let's. Let me, I'm trying to ask some real questions. Mm -hmm. You wanted this money. Of your, course. Your aim, your plan, and the in, mm -hmm. intentions was this six-figure salary. Mm -hmm. You're earning more money. You're how old? Twenty-eight. Because yes. it, it's very easy to know yes, your age. It is, it is, <laughs> yes. So you're earning all this money. Mm -hmm. Are you even? Do you even have the maturity? Mm -hmm. To, uh, the same person who's doing higher purchase for, for TV. Is it by the way, do says I'm into my own house, I'm getting a car. You see, there's a car allowances, all these things. Exp I want to understand the maturity that you had with money. The initial concept of money, and I hope this does not sound fake, but the initial concept of money, I learned. Directly from God. Directly. Mm -hmm. The 2007 is the year he taught me. These are the foundational things he taught me. Mm. When this the is money what he means came, foundation. Yes, mm -hmm. it's everything. I released, you remember I released everything. Mm. So the urge to get rich quickly, the urge to uh, furnish quickly, all those things. Rich, even at that time, I had all I did Fast fruit, full. I took to church. Because that's what the Bible says. What? Yes. You took your 360 plus 58 to church? Correct. Because I was still living the same life. As in. <laughs> as in. I, and the reason I did 60. that. <laughs> and the reason I did that. Uh -huh. It's a sign of surrender. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It is. I'm he, these are his resources anyway. Your trusted hands. Yes. I'm only a root through which they come. Mm. And how that HP job came, it taught me that the way your life can change overnight mm. in this way, mm. it can change overnight in the other way. Oh. He chooses who to lift and when. And who to bring down. And who to bring down mm. and when. And so if we've gone through this foundation of, and it was not easy, that's why I said 2007 was hard, because yep. he was dealing with the inside of me. Yep. He was breaking everything I believed. You know all those things. Yep. Yeah. So at that point, that's what I did. I, I had to ask that question. Mm -hmm. And even the fact that you, because I want to know practical. Mm. This sometimes we say the words and people don't understand. But I you say I didn't even expect you to say that you took your first fruits. Mm. You took your, let me say it, you took your first salary. Correct. In its entirety. In its completeness. Mm. I, I didn't take the 58,000 because that's what I needed to pay, but I took the base salary, the, the, the salary. In bonus. its fullness, 100%, yes. not 20. No, no, no. Wow. Mm. So, okay, explain to us the 58. It sounds like so, there's a story there. Yes. So then, and that's what I'm saying. So I reported. Okay. So then my first paycheck comes, actually, you've reminded me, yes. My first paycheck comes, I'm expecting 360 and 58. I look, it's only 360 that's coming. But I'm like, but my contract said I have 58,000 for car loans. So I go to the office administrator. And she was the administrator from a contracting perspective, but she was the finance manager, mm. as in she was the leadership. Mm. So I go to her and I'm like, um, I didn't receive my car allowance, is there something I'm missing? Then she looks at me and she asks me, do you have a car? Then I look at her and I'm like, no, I don't. She's like, then I can't give you a car allowance if you don't have a car. I was so defeated because I'm like chicken and egg. <laughs> so I need, I need this money to have a car. <laughs> and my care have already given, as in the first fruits I will have to give. So yes. I can't even use that money to buy a car. Yeah. Uh, then she sees how defeated I am. And she tells me, sit. Then she picks her calculator. And she tells me, who, who do you bank with? I tell her the bank. 
Then she's like, ah, good. Because you if you're not backing with them, I would have sent you to them. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to pick an unsecured loan. Then you're going to buy a car that you repay this amount of money per month. Don't take more than 24 months. Then you're going to leave enough to service the car and fuel the uh -huh. car. That way, your 58,000, you'll come and give me the loan. You can buy that car tomorrow. Your 58,000, because it takes two days for the unsecured yes. loan. You, you will buy it before the next paycheck. Just come and tell me which car you bought, because also we pay for insurance. Ah, yeah, in. yeah, 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 then, yeah, 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 yeah. It's easy. You will have the 58,000 and it will cover to go directly to the car. And that Richie is how I got the car. I had asked God, I want a car with, whose logbook is in my name, which has no loan. Because I took an unsecured loan. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. That Kawasp is filling your store. It's just yes. coming to bless you. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. So, with, after the start of that, because now I got the car, I, I, I realized there was something, actually, did I realize or did Dolly realize? She realized there is, she got interested in me. I think at the time I was the youngest person to join HB. Mm. And she understood that I had not earned that amount, amount of money previously. Mm. What, what do you do with this? Oh, Lord. Stop it. 